are photos contain biometric data. Using them with face recognition, anyone can track you, hack your devices, and steal your identities. You know what? I'm going to snap a selfie right now. We are the ID, and we developed an AI to protect organizations' databases. We protect their photos and videos from face recognition while keeping them similar to the human eye. The face recognition market is booming. And whether you like it or not, it has made our faces our identifiers. Face recognition is widely used in the US. Retailers are using it to analyze our shopping behavior. Our age, gender, and ethnicity have been identified for marketing purposes. And it is also used by banks, social networks, and even in our phones. Governments use face recognition to identify people in protests. And some are even using it to rank the citizens' behavior. We've moved too fast with facial recognition, and it is now a threat to a fundamental human right to privacy as declared by the UN. Now, privacy regulations, such as the GDPR, are excellent policies. And they address facial images as the most sensitive personal information, which organizations must protect, because otherwise they will be facing huge fines and lawsuits. Now, almost all companies store photos of our faces, and they must protect them. Because unlike passwords, you can't change your face. So reality is scary, right? Well, that's about to change. Let me introduce DID, the same photo without your face print. A DID protected photo is visually similar to the human eye. However, face recognition algorithms can't place it. Also, you cannot decrypt it or reverse engineer it. It's like a one-way function. Our proprietary algorithm combines the most advanced image processing and deep learning techniques to resynthesize any given photo to a DID protected version of it. Let's move to the demo, please. On the right, you can see the selfie I just took. And on the left, my Facebook profile photo, not protected. Now, Yoav is using Microsoft's face recognition algorithm, which is widely used by Fortune 500 companies, to try and recognize who is in my selfie. And as you can see in the small letters below, Microsoft has successfully recognized that the person in my selfie is the same one as in my Facebook profile photo. And Microsoft can now safely declare that the person in my selfie is me, Gil Perry. Now let's see what happens when we replace my Facebook profile photo to a DID protected version of it. You are about to witness the future of privacy protection. Show them. Now you probably didn't notice any difference. <laughs> That's amazing. That is. I'm, I'm, but, I'm, wow. who, who is that guy? <laughs> For AI, there was a huge difference. And as you can see in the small letters below, Microsoft now thinks that these two faces belong to two different people. They didn't recognize me. And what about Amazon? Didn't recognize me as well. DID is the first and only available solution in the market to protect against face recognition. Let's move back to the presentation, please, and I'll talk about the market. Let's move to the presentation, please. Our first customers are those who store your photos. Cloud storage, social networks, banks, healthcare, and biometric databases of governments. Using the ID, these organizations can comply with regulations, prevent crippling fines, be privacy leaders, and most important, they can guarantee their employees and customers privacy and security. With annual pricing ranging from 40,000 to over a million for large enterprises, a conservative analysis for market size is $6.4 billion. And our first customer is Cloudinary, 
an image and video management solution which stores photos of more than 350,000 companies, more than 22 billion media assets. We've also signed agreements with top players in the finance and automotive industries. I'm happy to announce today that we are publicly launching DID, and our software will be available as SaaS and on-premise solution. Our business model is annual licensing and pay-per-use. We are Y Combinator alumni, and our team consists of the top deep learning, computer vision, and image processing experts in Israel, which all hold master degrees and PhDs, like Dr. Yoav Cohen over here. Mm -hmm. And while serving in the Israeli Special Forces and Intelligence Corp, my co-founders and I were not allowed to share photos online for security reasons. And today, everyone must deal with this problem. Now is the time to protect your data, and DID is here to make sure it happens. So join us. Visit DID.com and be privacy leaders. Thank you. Judges. So as, um, as someone with a forgettable face, I, I'd like to keep it that way. Uh, but how do, how do you keep up? It seems like it's, it's an arms race, right? Today, Microsoft can't uh, match. But they're changing, AI is changing, AI is becoming more like the human mind. So uh, as these technologies advance, how do you maintain uh, the competitive edge uh, uh, on recognition? Good questions. So um, first, what we saw is that the more advanced the uh, face recognition is, uh, it's easier for algorithm to fool it. Second, we're constantly uh, learning and adapting to new algorithms and implementing them in our systems. And third, we are doing that. We have a red team that constantly forced to attack DID protected photos. And then w before our algorithm produces a new DID protected photo, it needs to fool our own red team's face recognition algorithm, which has the most, the most DID photos went through, through it, so it's the strongest. Then that's why our algorithm constantly changes. And once we fool our own red team's face recognition algorithm, for sure we will fool all other face recognition algorithms which are trying to overcome our protection. But you have to maintain that it's human recognizable. So I could see over time it's going to become less human recognizable. It, do you see that trend happening? No, actually uh, it's not. The, the more face recognition algorithms are advanced, then the less changes we need to do uh, before they say it's a different person. As a consumer, uh, sorry, we... Go ahead, no, go ahead. As a consumer, I really, I, I love the pitch. I'm like, this sounds great. What is, who are you selling to in these enterprises? What's their incentive outside of maybe CSR and being able to say they protect their users' data? Okay, so just first, the, 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 at the beginning, the vision for the idea was for consumers. The, the vision was uh, privacy for all. But uh, really fast, we pivoted, we realized that the, who needs it the most are the organizations who store, suddenly found themselves storing such a big amount of uh, biometric data because uh, all companies store photos. Uh, I can tell you exactly the, which, what each person in the organization wants. So uh, security, information and security officers, uh, they are in charge of this sensitive data and they, they, they need the protection. Uh, product managers, they want to increase revenues, make a better product. Marketing, want to improve their branding as privacy leaders. Legal, they want to uh, comply with the GDPR. Under the GDPR, face images are now considered not just personal information, but sensitive personal information. So that's basically it. Do you have any enterprise customers today? Any, sorry? Enterprise customers. Yeah, so uh, our first customer, we just uh, completed delivery, uh, successful delivery to Cloudinary. They store photos of 350,000 companies, more than 22 billion media assets. Uh, their customers need to comply with the GDPR. We are now starting a POC with one of the largest, one of the, one of the top players in the finance industry, a really big uh, conglomerate. Uh, and then we also have a commercial agreement with one of uh, the top uh, automotive uh, players, which uh, uh, automotive, eventually they'll need to protect pedestrians, which uh, autonomous cars will capture, and that's a really big concern for GDPR and lawsuits. 
So for all, the, all three companies, I think the GDPR compliance is the number one motivation for them to do this. Um, GDPR compliance also. Uh, Everything else is nice to have, but very immediately want to be able to comply to that regulation seems to be the number one motivator. Yes, actually, uh, one of them is really interested in uh, our uh, next product, which is also proprietary and uh, disruptive, which will finish the, uh, the complete our vision and really fix the face recognition problem, is uh, what we call DID++. Um, and it will, it will enable organizations using DID to still be able to authenticate uh, their users. Right. And I'll explain in 20 seconds how it works. Basically, if uh, iPhone 10, uh, they will use it. So when you uh, enroll, mm -hmm. then we store the DID photo with instructions. Okay, then when you come to open the phone again, DID with the instructions know how to transform your face without storing it into the protected domain. Right. And then doing face recognition algorithm. Yeah. Then doing face recognition. Then if everything is stolen, no damage is done. Right. You can't go back to the real photo. That's going to disrupt the face recognition market. That really going to fix the privacy issues. So I, I, this, this is related to my question. There are legitimate uses that companies have for facial recognition. Um, and if they applied DID to all the faces, then they're unable to use that internally as well. Is there yes. a, is, and so what you're saying is then they have to build your, buy your second product, right? Yes. Right. <laughs> so it's a great question. Which is brilliant model. model. <laughs> that, that's a great question. So we thought about it, um, you know, at the beginning we were like blocking face recognition and then we got many requests from uh, many banks, especially banks, and also uh, governmental organizations. Uh, and also face recognition vendors. At the beginning, we told them, listen, we are doing the opposite. But then we understood they, they have the most pain because they are the most aware of the risks, GDPR, uh, consumers' concerns, and they are aware about the sense. It's like a double-edged uh, sword. You don't want, you want this data, you want face recognition, you don't want other organizations to, to hold it. So that's exactly uh, what we made. We had a problem. We need to enable them to use uh, face recognition uh, uh, while using, uh, even though they use the ID, but we have two con uh, constraints. It's not, we're not gonna decrypt the data. We're not gonna reverse engineer it. It's not gonna be a backdoor like, uh, once you DID it, it stayed DID. And we solved it uh, in, with DID++. All right, give it up for DID.